Hello, yes, uh, it's Michael Olsen, and I'm back with a, a Visual Studio tip. Sometimes when you find code out on the internet, it's just written the code down here. They are, they are no using directives. And that could be problematic, guessing what, uh, searching for all the different usings uh, that are in the project. Uh, but there is a great, great way of doing this with the help of Visual Studio. So let's say I take away these two usings. There will be some errors in, uh, my, in my file. Well, display names, I just click on that. There will be a blue little dot that after a while it yeah, drops down here and you can click on this and you can choose between either to have the fully qualified name like this or that's very hard to read in the code you can choose from you choose uh, um, importing the using directive that's that solved the problem with use directive for display name so i collection click on that and import a using directive visual studio uh, when it, when it, you type something that you need a using directive for will go and look in your references all of these re uh, DLLs it will look through and see if they can find guess what you wanted uh, to use and if there are multiple instances of this uh, of a class uh, with the same name you will get the option between to choose between the two that could Sometimes you have to choose the right one, but in our case, there was just one. Okay, I hope that was uh, helpful and useful, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.